Welcome to IBM Support TV, where we answer questions and share technical support information, hints and tips on IBM products. Welcome to this presentation on the Socket Java Probe and Gateway. This presentation is for the configuration of the Socket Java Probe and Gateway to be tested together. It will discuss the configuration of the Socket Java Probe and Gateway and how to increase the Gateway's performance. In this example, the Socket Java Gateway is configured to send events from ncoms underscore A to the Socket Java Probe, which is connected to the object server ncoms underscore B. This configuration is not an effective way to forward event and is being used to illustrate the configuration of the Socket Java Probe and Gateway. The probe's connection to the object server was configured using the best practice settings. The network timeout property should always be set in a production environment. The pole server property must be set when the network timeout is set and must be larger than the network timeout. The use of buffering can improve event processing when probes are under significant load. For the Socket Java Gateway events, the following settings were used. The probe will listen on the given host port. The event read timeout property should always be set. Disabling naming resolution improves the probe's overall performance. Running the probe from the command line when testing allows for any issues to be easily spotted. When running, the probe should be listening for connections on the given port 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The Socket Java Gateway is configured to send events from ncoms underscore A to the Socket Java probe's port. The gateway's name, g underscore jsoc, needs to be added to the omni.dat file and is used to connect to the gateway using nco underscore sql if required. Events are given the headers insert, update and delete. The gateway's description property should be set to identify it within the object server's catalog.connections table. Setting a flush rate allows events to be read in a timely manner. Enabling all the debug options allows for the event processing details to be read in the login. In a production environment, these would be disabled. The mapping defines which object server fields are forwarded to the probe. In this example, the internal last field is converted to an integer. The event replication to the probe was restricted using the object server field poll to filter events and to acknowledge when an event has been processed. Resetting poll to zero allows the event to be resent by the probe. As with the probe, the gateway should be run from the command line at message level debug when testing. On startup, the gateway will forward any newly inserted events where poll is zero. When checking for the gateway's connection, the probe's port should list the gateway's connection as established. When a test event is inserted into ncoms underscore A, the gateway's login will list the event in the batch file login. The probe should read this event and log out the event's tokens. Note that the tokens are listed out of order and that the first token includes the insert field. Here we can see the probe's tokens being matched to the gateway's mapping fields. Note that token 1 defines the event uniquely within the context of the insert, update and delete. This is due to the way the probe is reading the events and the way the gateway sends the events rather than through design. The internal last field was successfully converted to a string in token 13. The best way to improve the Socket Java Gateway's performance is to run more Socket Java Gateways as the event processing is serial and runs through a single process. The way to do this is by dividing the event load between gateways using events server and serial or serial depending upon the environment. In this example of using three gateways each Java socket gateway uses a filter that includes a filter with the mod 3 of server serial with each gateway forwarding its own third of the matching events. If other filters are being used then there may be a need to consider the striping of the gateways event loading further. Thanks for watching this episode of IBM Support TV. Please leave a comment with topics you would like to see in future episodes. Until then, stay tuned.